All right, guys, before the video starts, I already made the video and did this after it was over. I added this pot fake, I guess like a tree that I had. It's just two sticks with drill holes in it with some uh, plastic, uh, actually they're like almost silk, like a plastic leaves on them, but they have wire in them, but it's like in the plastic, so I think I'll be okay. I'm only gonna leave it in for a little while, maybe a month or so, so that the fry could grow a little bigger because the big ones are getting at them. At least this way they have somewhere to hide in there. So I added this after the video just to show you what I thought of for now. Oh well, I ruined one of my fake plants. I don't care, it's worth it for the fish. <laughs> so I put these rocks to hold it in place on the sides and in the front so the wind don't get it. And it feels waterlogged, so I think it'll stay. I guess it's better than nothing, so at least that gives them a place to hide in. Now you could watch the original video. <laughs> Here it goes. All right, guys, another quick update on the pond. As you can see, the water's a little murky. That's because it's been in the mid-90s for the past week here. It's real hot, the water. It's actually clearer than normal since I did all the uh, hardness and general hardness and carbonate hardness adjustments. It's much better. But anyway, I told you guys in the last video I put my uh, Sanki Gold, Shabunkin Goldfish that were like an inch, inch and a quarter in this pond that were in the 125 gallon tank. There's still some in here. I probably put 50 to 70. But to be honest with you, I see a lot of them in the skimmer. They're all bit up from the bigger ones. So it didn't work out too well. There's probably, I'm gonna guess, maybe a dozen or so in here still that are getting away. There's one on that plastic little liner in the back. You see them on the edge. You may not see them, he's tiny. But you see them, they go like in schools. They swim around together and then when the big fish go, you actually see them try to get them. And then they like kind of just spread out and get back together. But I guess it was a bad idea. There's a couple of them. There's probably maybe a dozen or two. So there's nowhere near 50 to 70 that I put in there. <clears throat> but I have to say, I think the smaller guys are the ones that are missing. And I did see some in the skimmer. Let me check that now just to be sure there's no more. Because I did put actually a screen in front of it of this filter pad material, but that didn't work too well. Oh, I got a plant in front of it. But you can see there's a couple of them right there, Sam, on the edge. That's how big they are, like an inch, inch and a quarter. Actually, there's three of them. They look like they actually are hiding under that liner that I have over the edge. These big ones eat them. I don't know why they didn't do it in the tank. Let me see if there's anything in here that I could see. Oh, it's hard to see. I don't see anything. They go in there too, but in all honesty, when they're in there and I take them out, they're not just in there because they got sucked in. They're in there because they got beat up and their tails are all shredded and they're thin. There they go, see them all. See, they go under the edge there. There's nowhere near as many as there were. I know a lot of them got eaten. I can see these guys chasing them. So that's kind of a bummer. And there's no way you're going to get them out. I was thinking, let me take them out and put them in a small tank. But there's no way you're getting them in here. I mean, I could put some more stuff in the pond. There's one right there. And it's a shame they're the Sanki Gold Nice ones. So they're hiding under this liner here. This, I have it like a piece so that some don't hit the uh, liner going in the pond. It's like a double liner. See them? I mean, maybe there's still more than I think. There could be some hiding somewhere else. Like I see some there, but there's definitely way less. There was like... You guys remember that tank? There looked like there was at least 50 in there. 
But for some reason, like I said, they're all gone compared to what it was. I'm going to try to put some uh, stuff in the pond so it gives them somewhere to hide. Even if I just put some rocks or something like big rocks, like so they got a, the big fish weave in and out to get it, like they could hide something I got to put in there. But like I said, this sucks. They got some of them. Other than that, everything else is doing good. I even had some big ones from that batch that was in the Tupperware. I put them in the 125. And here I look, one of the big ones had one of the little ones in its mouth. So I took, it's a pain. <laughs> I took like six big ones out that were much bigger that could eat them. And I put them back in that Tupperware. I'm going nuts. It's like I gotta separate the sizes and I'm running out of space, that's a problem. So hopefully these guys will make it in here, I don't know. Like look, he's chasing, I just seen one chasing them, they hide under the edge. So there's gotta be some more hiding spots, you just don't know what to put in there. I don't have any plants, and even that won't work because they kind of stay on the top. I'm thinking just to put some kind of rocks in there, like round rocks in a pile so that they could go in them or something. You would think they would hide under here, but they don't go over there. It's like in the shade, there's all like uh, felt that I put underneath these pots and stuff that they could go under and everything because it's lifted up, they don't go. I'm looking at the big one now. They're by the little ones on the edge. Let's see what they do. I mean, the little ones are funny, they're just staying there. They're not out in the open though. Here they go, let's see what they do to them. See now they're not even chasing them, I don't get it. And I'm feeding them twice a day so they're hung not hungry rather. I don't know. Like I got a lot of hiding spots under there. There's two filter uh, pumps, but and they could have got sucked into them, I don't know. But when I put my hand on the pump, because it has a big plastic, like, uh, grate around it, like a, a kind of pre-filter, you don't really feel suction, but they could probably get into it. It's, like, big and open. I don't know, at this point, you know what? I got so many, I'm going nuts. I'd, I'll just put some hiding spots, like I said. That's all I'm going to do. I ain't going nuts anymore. I mean, some people just have them breed in their pond and they let them go. There they all are out there. There's like a 20 of them, maybe. They all hide under the edge. It's amazing. Eh, I'll just put some more hiding spots. It should be all right. Did I say that about 10 times? <laughs> you get so worried because you put so much into it to get them to where they are and to put them out in the pond and they start dying from the big ones. Which is odd, when they were in the tank with the big ones, they didn't even bother them. I don't get it. Maybe I'll just put something by the edge that seems to be where they're all going. I don't know. My God, it's like I said, it's been 90 something degrees out here all week. It's humid as anything. I can't even tell you how humid it is. It's like you're in Spain. And I think Monday or Tuesday, today's Wednesday, they're saying a hundred for them two days. Look at this. This beauty bloom. Look at these, they're so nice. Colorful, there goes the sun on them, look at that. And the fragrance, forget it, you can smell these out like a half a mile away. Man, they're nice. You go back so you can see it. I got that up against my deck. You can smell it all over the whole yard. It's really nice. And everything else is starting to bloom, as you can see. Look back there. Orange over there, there, all over here. Let me take you to it. And it's funny, all these flowers, I just kept, I bought two or three of them, like, 20 years ago and all these are from that two or three and I just kept you dig like a little portion of it out like if you were gonna transplant this this one here you see it 
how it's like separate. I would dig that out with a spade shovel and just put it somewhere else and it grows. Let me just show you what I got here. These are actually kind of faded from the sun beating on when they first open up their brighter color. That's it. That thing's kind of dry. Let me show you the rest of them. This already bloomed. These are just starting. These. This one didn't start yet. I guess the red's quicker. I don't know. And then I got these here. These are a nice color too. And you got like a maroon color here. And the funniest thing, I think I told you this last year. This is that yellow and like red, but this one's kind of faded. And then this is the maroon and somehow this I didn't plant. I'm thinking it's a hybrid between this one and this one. I don't know how uh, plants breed, but this one's an in-between color. It's not maroon and it's not the orange. It's darker. It's like in between because the orange looks like this one here. You can see how it's like yellowy orange color. That's what the plant over here is supposed to look like, but that's a poor example. It must be the first one, so it don't look too good. But it made this the two plants, like an in-between and that some. See if I could go over here and get you to the next one. Man, it's hot out here. It's crazy. Yeah, this just started blooming like two days ago. They're the maroon. Well, not maroon, but red. I'm trying to see if I see the fry out, but I don't see them. Well, that's what I'm going to have to do here. I'm going to have to put something on the edge where they always go and try to give them some hiding spots. I think they would hide on this plant, though. It's crazy. All over here, they don't go, and there's like a lot of spots to hide. I don't know. All right, guys, let me let you go. I lost a few of them. It's a shame, but that's part of breeding them. They don't, here goes a couple. Every time I see them, I'm like, wait, there's two. But, uh, you know, you lose some, I guess. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Later.